you know, uh, I just post something on Facebook, talk about Mr. Marco. Do you know about him? He, he, Marco is a famous cartoon character in the 70s. Maybe you're too young for that. Mr. Marco, eh? But anyway, he, he suffered from short sightedness. So he happily drove a car over the cliff. He doesn't know, he's so happily driving his car. He, he doesn't see it, right? Yeah. But most of us are so, so short sighted. America is going to get a cliff pretty soon. You know, with all the, all the, <laughs> all the struggle, all, all the infights and the conquest versus the White, the White House, they're so short sighted and they're driving the economy over the cliff. So often we're suffering from a short sightedness. And here's a, a famous uh, diagram. How to pronounce that word? How to pronounce Johari? Johari. Now, everybody has, everybody has a big blind spot, right? Everybody has a blind spot. You might say, oh, I'm the most compassionate person, I'm the most kind person. People know you and say, oh, this person is very mean and nasty. You might see yourself as the most kindest person, but other people know you, say that you're, you're nasty. You might think you're the most humble people, People call you arrogant. Anyway, you get very upset. Okay? So in other words, most of us do not know that the whole, the whole blind spot in us, and also there's the whole area of unknown to you and to other people. That is the, you know, there's the, the part of you that nobody knows. We call it unconscious, unconscious region. We talk about it, the yeah. unconscious region. 90% of your mental content belongs to the unconscious area. When Freud, he the first one to talk about unconsciousness, people laughed at him. But now more and more scientific research discover that our memory, our, uh, our emotion, the many things about us are buried below the surface of consciousness. For example, they didn't need an experiment where uh, the surgeon will tap the, the cortex, motor cortex, and uh, make the patient raise the arm. And the, and the psychologist, the other person, uh, why are you raising, raising your, 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 your arm? He said, I'm waving at a nurse. It's just a matter of a story, right? It, it, to, to make sense. The patient made up a story, but he didn't know that he raised a hand because the doctor is stimulating the motor cortex, he automatically raised a hand. So often we do things without knowing that we think that we have in control, that we are, we have volition, we have intention, that we are doing something of our own will, in fact that our behavior, our feeling, are dictated by something below the surface consciousness. For example, some women keep on falling in love with an abusive man. Now, this is an internet phenomenon. Good girls like bad boys, okay? <laughs> <laughs> bad boys are more fun. <laughs> but anyway, I told you when the girl was were brought up by an alcoholic, abusive, uh, father, so she she knows how to dance with a, 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 with a drunkard. If she met a good man, she doesn't know how to do with it. No, she's always attracted to to, to a guy who's an alcoholic, who's abusive. She thinks she can fix him. This codependency mentality, I can fix him. So he attracted called transference. You know, the, the, the child who our uh, youth memory about the father. You feel her, her choose choice of a mate. This is one example of, of unconscious motive. She, she choose to marry someone when she feels safe. Marry some abusive husband, a man, she thinks that she knows what they are like, they can, they can be fixed. And uh, there, there are all kinds of examples about unconscious motive. And the opposite, of course, is true with men picking the wrong. Oh, yeah, 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 same thing. But this is an example of compromise. Yeah. <laughs>